retirement home of Diocletian. They, he was a soldier for most of his life. So the whole building actually works like a military camp plus luxury The building is surrounded with 16 towers and you could go in through three land gates and go out through emergency exit. The front part of the building is the only part that is constructed on two floors. The ground floor originally was flooded. It's on the first level. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> the front part is the only one on two floors where ground floor was under the water and he lived on the first level in 40 rooms. 40? 40, 40 rooms. The central area is known as spiritual zone because on one side we have Jupiter's temple. Diocletian believed he is son of Jupiter, this was temple to his father. And on the opposite side is mausoleum, his grave. After he passed away, he was originally buried inside, but families that lived around, they broke into the palace, they kicked his body out and made a church inside of his grave. And also two big buildings in the north part, they were military barracks for approximately 100 soldiers that lived inside and served to Diocletian. Today, this whole palace looks totally different. You can see it right from down here. Lots of houses sitting on top that were constructed up after 7th century when Slav, Slav tribes, they came down and lots of people from Salona, capital yes. of the region, started moving in and they made the city. Today we have total 2,000 people living within the palace. We will go in and wake them up. Okay, right now we are now We need to take a ball, right? Uh, under sea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>